Tualatin, like 100 years ago, was a, an agricultural community. Tualatin River runs through Tualatin. So it was hazelnut orchards and onion flats and just really agricultural kind of setting um, of a suburb of Portland. In the 1960s, Tualatin transformed because I-5 came through and moved from more of an agricultural community to a more retail uh, community focused on I-5. And so we had this strip club called Jiggles right off of the I-5 exit, the Tualatin exit, and then strip malls. So we had a, a kind of underutilized strip mall right in our gateway. We also had in our center of town a dog food factory that was smelly and trucks in and out with the things that made dog food. Over the last five years, Tualatin has seen a lot of growth and a lot of changes. We've had um, new development out in our industrial area, but also right in our downtown in the gateway to our community. The Jiggles Strip Club used to welcome all of our visitors and when people were trying to find Tualatin, you'd say, get off at the Jiggles exit. And now that has been totally transformed by Cabela's, um, a New Seasons grocery store. We have a new gateway sculpture um, welcoming people and also honoring some of the history and tradition with the geese welcoming you to Tualatin. We have grown from a little farming community, a little trading community, a little transportation crossroads to a, a very significant industrial area in the Portland region, a wonderful retail and shopping area with Bridgeport Village and Cabela's and Nyberg Rivers and also um, very quaint and connected neighborhoods. So even though um, we're much larger than we were, we still have that identity of sort of that small town feel, yet being close to large city amenities. Well, Tualatin has become a model for people from all over the world, and it's because of this Tualatin Commons. It's because of the foresight of the city and how to use the urban renewal financing. We have gotten to be able to put in office buildings, which probably employ close to a thousand people. We have restaurants here that bring in hundreds of people every night to come and see the place. We have the lake behind us, which is a place where people come, kids put their feet in here. We have motorboat races, we have pumpkin races. Uh, the lake is just a center point of this town. So one of Tualatin's big challenges is that over 20% of our population is Spanish speaking. And we really work hard to engage the whole community. So making sure that our engagement techniques and methods are also reaching out to that segment of the population is really important to city staff and to the council. There's a lot of ideas to be found there. And as we work on major issues like improving our transportation system, um, looking at our city facilities and services for the future, we want to make sure that that we're meeting the expectations and demands of all different parts of our population. It's because we're such a melting pot. We're so close to Portland that people who work there can live in the suburbs, feel comfortable, but drive to work. And we have we now have the West Train, which is a, a good arterial tie-in to our light rail systems. We've tried to put all those things together to make this the place to live. Over the next 20 years, I see Tualatin continuing to work towards maintaining that small town feel while also being a major player in the Portland region. With growth out in our industrial area, adding new businesses, continuing to maintain affordable housing, we'll continue to work hard as a community to address the issues that come along with growth, including adding new businesses to our industrial area, meeting the transportation challenges that that can bring, and also working really hard to engage our diverse community. Well, I think the city of Tualatin has a lot to look forward to. We're, we're going to continue to grow. I mean, we're projected to have in the metropolitan area over 500,000 people in the next few years. Here, we're looking at building a new arterial road, 124th, which will eliminate some of the traffic issues we have. Tualatin's growth has been dependent upon the fact that we've been a balanced community. Balanced in that we have uh, great retail, we have a great job center, and we have wonderful neighborhoods. I think that the future plays out by growing the, the present in that regard. People want to maintain that small town feel. Folks here though still want to have the, the access to more amenities. We've got so many opportunities, not just for engaging our residents, but for infrastructure. So transportation, public transit, new jobs, high, high paying, high quality jobs. We've just got a lot of opportunities for that and it's totally exciting.